if you're dealing with a frustrating data set like the one I have here as an example, where randomly you'll have one variable per cell, and then in some cells you'll have multiple variables, each with a line break in between, I'm going to show you the way that I found to separate these out. And unfortunately it is multi-step, but this is the only way that I figured out how to do this. So hopefully this helps you out here. What you want to do is go to a new column at the very end of your data set so that you're able to use the text to column function at the end. But we're going to go here in this instance to E, column E. I'm going to concatenate everything that we have into one cell. And we're going to do that by hitting the equal sign, referencing A2, and then another and sign. And then we're going to use character 10 or char parentheses 10 for the new line. And we're going to do this all the way down. So B2, now I want a new line, which is character 10. And I want to do C2, and sign character 10, and sign D2. And that should be all of the data now consolidated into one cell, each variable given a new line. This was fairly quick because it's a small data set. If your data is way bigger, what what I found was helpful was just to copy a long segment of the pattern and just keep pasting it and then updating the letters or the cell references and I was able to do it fairly quickly but we're gonna hit enter here you'll see um, well if I wrap the text each each uh, variable is giving it given its own line in this cell and we're going to um, carry that formula all the way down and then the key step here is to copy this data and to paste it as values. So once we have it in values, we highlight the whole column and we're able to, under the data tab, use text to columns. We're going to select delimited. We're going to hit next. And then you're going to, in yours, your tab will tr probably be checked. You uncheck that, check other, and then in this little open box, press and hold control and press J that's the shortcut for new line and you'll see down here what it will look like you hit next finish and now we have each variable given its own cell in the data and then you can simply delete your original and here's what your new data looks like where every line of data is separated into its own cell so admittedly, multiple steps, a couple key things to remember, but this is the best way I've found to do it. If you have a better way, please comment, and thanks a lot for watching.